ship perimeter secure, Commander. Okay, sorry for that pause there. I was checking to make sure I didn't mute myself. So, this is where you see all of your talents. It's basically your various powers and passive abilities to upgrade things like, as, like here, your accuracy and damage with a pistol. Same thing with shotguns, which, yeah, uh, as a vanguard, even though, even though we have all the possible weapons equipped, and in fact, we have to have all of them equipped, we can't really use assault rifles or sniper rifles. We can, but we can't zoom in with them, so they basically suck. And, like, our accuracy is terrible. Um, you can actually unlock the ability to use them on individual characters that normally couldn't by beating the game multiple times with characters who can. It's pretty interesting. For right now, though, we're going to be increasing our charm. Because, well, dialogue options. What more do I need to say? <laughs> I think I'm good enough at this game to be able to kill anything that gets in our way. Hopefully. And, uh, yeah. There's a passive ability for Charm and Intimidate that affects store pricing. It's alright. Uh, I'm probably gonna be max maxing out both of these as much as I can, though. One thing to note... Uh, let's see. Yeah, as you earn Paragon and Renegade points. See those two things there? That's basically basically your light and dark side meter from Star Wars games. For this game, I'm going to be playing it straight, but in Mass Effect 2 and 3, they actually remove the Charm and Intimidate options entirely. So, for those, I'm actually going to cheat and just completely max them out to get the maximum amount of, of uh, dialogue options at any given time, because... Otherwise, you're kind of shoehorned into playing entirely Paragon or entirely Renegade. I don't want to do that. For now, though, we're good. And this is how Shepard runs. What the hell are those? Gas bags. Don't worry, they're harmless. Yeah, that, that's, the, that's the most accurately we can aim right now. And, uh, yeah, those were basically just there to test out your guns. They're not any threat to you whatsoever. That said, if they explode near you, it will hurt. Oh God. What happened here? Also, something else to notice, unlike my other LPs that typically have, like, I, I cut them off at, like, 20-minute intervals, I'm still going to be cutting these episodes at about 20 minutes, but recording sessions are going to are going to be continuous, because... This game's kind of long and weird. So you're not going to be getting intros and outros very often. I, I won't cut, like, in the middle of dialogue, though. I'll, 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 I'm not that unprofessional. Usually. Yeah, yeah this is the cover system. It's... Not super good. And we leveled up again already. And, and there's Jenkins. He's dead. Well, I, I'm not going to pretend to be sorry for him. Uh, something to note that you probably already figured out rather quickly is Jenkins is... Very, very obviously, a reference to Leroy Jenkins of World of Warcraft fame. We're at a chance. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete, but I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. And that's why, when you're low level, you want to keep to uh, you, you want to keep to relative cover. And then once you get, like, more than two bars of shielding, you can just run around and do pretty much whatever you want. Or I guess just side strafe, that works too. Burned our buildings here, Shepard. Caden, how are you almost dead already? I'm gonna check it out. Not Man, you suck. The dig site. Whoops. Testing my buttons right now. 
You might have saw you might have seen that I have various powers. I'm trying to remember how to use them. <laughs> okay, yeah, there we go. Uh, did it? Now I'm gonna go with warp. In this game, you can only have one active at a time. And uh, they take a while to recharge. I can also order Caden to use his, but he'll usually use them on his own. Mostly because the only weapon I think I, I think Caden is a sentinel, so like the only weapon he can use properly is a pistol. All targets down. We've gone more than 30 seconds without two companions, so here's our replacement. For this game, they're not super threatening. Thanks for your help, Commander. I didn't think I was gonna make it. Bang, 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 bang. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns, nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh man, we were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. That's just such a dick thing to say. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, sir. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Lieutenant Olenko and I will take care of this. Let me come with you, sir. The Geth slaughtered my unit. Give me a chance to get even. She knows the area, Commander. And we could use the extra firepower. Personal vengeance? Yeah, that, that sounds like a good thing to take into a military engagement. Welcome aboard, Williams. Staff Lieutenant Caden Olenko. Glad to have you on the team. I don't think we really need to ask too many more questions. Move out. And yeah, you, you have to take her. You're not given the option not to. And here we get our first new weapon. Only one of us can use it. But as you can see, it's it's significantly better than what she had before. It's still inaccurate as hell. But uh yeah. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. Now we get some actually interesting things. First off, armor for me. Really, really gaudy looking armor, but it's nearly twice as good in every category. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that, that's, that's probably all we need. Actually, I should check. Yeah, why not? It won't really help us any time in the near future, but it's better than nothing. As I get stuck on a rock. Over there. Yeah, I, I would I would classify this as the worst, quote unquote worst, of the Mass Effect games. But only in that it's the least awesome. This, this is still a very good game. It's just that it hasn't aged as well as, say, Mass Effect 2 or 3. Maybe a little better than Andromeda, but that's just because that has horrific technical issues. Perimeter secured. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. <laughs> By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Yes. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If no. Lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport. Ooh. 
And now we got, and now we have a new pistol. It's not, it's not as accurate, which is bad, but it does have the benefit of being more damaging. We won't be using it. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Ah, ocean sickness. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. And now we get introduced to a new enemy type. The husks. Oh God, they're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? The husks are possibly the least threatening enemy in the whole game. They have a they have a good amount of health, but as you can see, they really only attack at melee, which makes them by and large non-threatening. Yeah, uh, there's no ammo system in this game. When you're when you use too when when you fire too many times, your weapon overheats. This is bad, but not devastating. Oh, I was just locking on at her. Yeah, we're gonna be leveling up very quickly for the first few levels, cause um, yeah. Get barrier. I first need more points in warp. That'll do. Hmm. Now, it's closed. Here we get the here we get the first major instance of Shepard being a complete dick for no reason. As you can see, there are people in there, not very well hidden. But first, we have to decrypt this. Oh man, it's been a long time since I played this. Oh, that was so trying. Humans, thank the maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Basic levels of frog are really just taken out of me. What are you doing here? I'm Dr. Warren. I was in charge of this excavation. We hid in the shed during the attack. They must have come for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? Yes. Destruction rushing towards us to understand there is no escape, no hope. No, I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. The sanest thing you could possibly say. After the attack. Okay, here's what I mean about the first major dick thing Shepard has the option to do in the series. If you pick this, Shepard just decks the guy. Just knocks him right the fuck out. I'm not going to do that because why would you? But uh, yeah, you'll you'll have many opportunities to just randomly punch people in the face. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Yeah, before we leave, anything to steal in here? No. You guys have nothing to steal. Ugh. Suck. Yeah, I'll be calling out the opportunities to just assault people for no reason as they come up, as I remember them. Ah, diva bolts. Some medium Turian armor. Weird. Sarah. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. I 
just noticed, Sarah looks cyberized as all hell. Off in the distance. It's a ship. Look at the size of it. Yeah, you better run. But seriously, he, he looks like he has, like, Cyberpunk 2020 augments. I do have one other power that we can use. Let's see. Yeah, it's just for throw. I'm actually going to swap to that just because, well, it's more useful and it's funny. Warp gets better in later games, but for right now, it's kind of terrible. <laughs> oh, damn it. Right as I had it. There we go. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. <laughs> Is it safe? Are they gone? We took care of them. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. Knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only, it was coming from inside your own head. Okay, remember that. That is a very important thing to remember for the rest of the series. We'll find out why much later on. It was probably trying to block communications. No. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. If there's something you're not telling me... Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You're breaking the law, Cole. We're not hurting anybody. Hell, most of the time I don't even know what's in the packages. Just thought there might be something we could use. I found a pistol. I figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. Yes, clearly! Clearly by aiding and abetting the weapon smugglers, you're not hurting anybody. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Yes, probably. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport, if he's still alive. Yeah, that's all we need. I have to go. Good luck. Now, let's see what we got. Another Banshee? So, yeah, apparently they... <laughs> apparently, not only were they... Not only did they have a pistol, they were also whole, they were also hoarding a sh uh, fucking assault rifle. And I don't remember picking that up, so I'm just gonna assume they had that too. A shotgun. Oh yeah, you weren't hurting anybody. And two sniper rifles! Ah! Okay, maybe I picked those up from, from other things. And here we get the first major upgrade to our pistol. It's way better in every category. Also, it looks cool. I will not admit that I jumped the gun on them. You can't make me. Oh dear. Oh, there we go. Yeah, um, I actually don't... The Vanguard doesn't have the necessary skill set 
to, to work with electronics. However, Hayden does. As a Sentinel, he has the decryption and electronics skill sets. If you don't have those, then um, you can't you can't lockpick stuff. And you want to do that because that's where all the goodies are. Huh. As you see, there's nothing particularly interesting about the electronics picking, but I think I remember decryption being significantly more entertaining. I know that they're way better in Mass Effect 2. I don't remember if they're even in Mass Effect 3, though. They cut a lot of things out of that game for space.